Hello there, and uh, welcome to our channel. Uh, our channel is called Ladderman Smash. My name is Jtron, and this is my friend and co-host Sly. Hi there. A little, fin a little uh, info about us and why we started this channel. We have a lot of uh, passions about gaming, movies, and series. We always knew we wanted to do something with our passions, but uh, well, here we are, years later, having a regular job like many of you living our day-to-day -day lives. We uh, recently discussed things we wanted to do different in our lives and figured why the hell not, why not just do it. So here we are, this is our first video ever on YouTube and uh, well, for starters, uh, well, Sly, tell us uh, what brought you into gaming. Hey, hi guys, uh, my name is Sly, again, and what brought me to gaming? Well. My brother brought me to gaming actually. We played fighting games a lot back in the heyday of uh, Street Fighter. And from there I transitioned into Metal Gear Solid. And yeah, with friends I played like Dark Souls, stuff like that. That brought me to gaming. Nice, nice, good games. Uh, yeah, something that what brought me into gaming, I. Uh, I guess we all. I played a lot of uh, old school uh, Dragon Ball Z games, but that was mostly on other people's first PlayStations or on uh, first life computers and that kind of stuff. Um, and it later transitioned when I played the first God of War. Um, that really sucked me into gaming and into single player uh, story driven games, action games, and uh, you know, just like you. I mean, one of those, <laughs> one of the friends you talked about, uh, Dark Souls, became a main thing and theme. Yep. And uh, yeah, well, here we are today. Um, well, as you can see in the background, we, or in this case, Sly, is playing Death Stranding. This is a game by Hideo Kojima that released uh, last uh, Friday, the 8th of November, and that uh, sparked a lot of controversy, I think you can say. Yeah, and, uh, a lot of con <laughs> controversy. Yes, and uh, we were both very uh, well excited about this game. At the same time, a little cautious about well, all the controversy that's surrounding it right now. Is it good? Is it bad? Um, is it trash? Is it a masterpiece? Um, well, as Sly just said, he is a big fan, big fan of Hideo Kojima, Metal Gear. Yep. Uh, so he had to buy it. If, this game would have gotten an all-round four I, as a rating. I think he still would have bought it. Um, but with the controversy that it has, uh, we thought it would be interesting today to uh, showcase a little bit of Death Stranding and uh, well, just talk about it. So yeah, Sly, tell us what uh, what are we doing right now? <laughs> well, as you can see, I'm trying to get to Port Knot City. It's one of the newer cities that I haven't been through. And in this game, uh, basically you're trying to connect humankind again, because there was a big event. And this big event basically, um, yeah, basically wiped everything out, kind of. And also not only wiped everything out, but also like uh, did something to the memories of people. Um, so we're trying to like re-establish and reconfigure ourselves in this game. And what you can see is that I've already connected, I think, three stations. And by connecting these three stations, you also give uh, possibilities to use other people's constructions, like this bridge or this post box, because you're Actually, uh, the main thing you do here is bringing you're bringing stuff to the stations. Can be f everything, like materials, but also like uh, food, so on and so on. So, yeah, so the, yeah. the, the whole thing of being a UPS man, it's not 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 true, but there's a lot about it. It's not as simple as it sounds. Exactly. So for um, the people watching, how far are you into the game right now? Uh, like I said, I have, let me show you the map. I already have, you start here, capital not city. 
no pun mm. intended, but uh, Kojima always names uh, Kojima names are always funny. And here in this game, he outdid himself. <laughs> so we have Capital Not City, we have Way Station West, and from there I went to the station where I'm at now, the mm -hmm. distribution center, west of Capital City. And in the meantime, I've also connected this wind farm all the way to the right, which was uh, quite the hassle because uh, during your delivery, certain things uh, can go wrong. You can encounter, uh, yeah, enemies, <laughs> but not like the traditional enemies. You'll see, uh, maybe you'll see them uh, later on. They they are called mules. They they are trying to uh, get your packages away from you. And also, you have like the horror element. You have beached things, what they call it, and they're like uh, this uh, strange. Yeah, strange creatures that try to uh, that try to subdue you in this blank black ink. This is the best I can describe it right now. Uh, yeah, I haven't they, been they under yet, before. so yeah. <laughs> so yeah. basically, that's it. We have like uh, three cities and one wind farm, and we're trying to get to this Port Knot City, which is actually the longest. Uh, yeah, destination-wise, the longest travel you've made. Thus far, I'm going to make yeah. Thus far, yeah. Thanks for helping okay. out. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Um, but how long do you think you have played the game? Like a total amount of hours? I don't know. The <laughs> actually the 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 atmosphere really makes you like submerge in this game. Oh, we got getting a message. Here is he. This Hartman. Our affliction, such as it is, began with Another the beach, great name. Or rather, you <laughs> Once the so, um, tell us something about the environment, because now we can see the bridge. Yeah, the environment is crazy. You have uh, mountains and bridges, as you can see. <laughs> no pun intended. We're bridges yourself. Yeah, exactly. But you can also, uh, these bridges that you build, uh, other people can use them. So it has like a system like in Dark Souls, uh, for the people that know, that you're like, you have messages in Dark Souls that can help you, well here you have constructions that can help you from other players, so that's really cool. Are they permanent in the game? So if you, uh, if you go out of the game and get a snack, go out, do whatever come back and play the game is the same structure on the same place or do you have different structures um, something that you've noticed thus far no I, I think they they stay but the thing is you can't use anything like uh, other people's ladders or other people's bridges before uh -huh. you connect to a city so the place I'm going now it has like a certain uh, area that I step out of the network of these connected cities and when that happens I see nothing I see no constructions that can help me like uh, like a bridge for instance so you have to first get there and then you can use the yeah the help of others yeah, I also saw well you just had the map open there's a lot of icons in the areas you've been in but the area that you go to now that is furthest you've been so far uh, there's a lot of empty spaces there, so it's uh, uncovered terrain. Exactly. Okay, well that's interesting. Well, uh, show us around. I see uh, it's a main mission, is not? Yeah, this is a main mission right now. Um, I'm thinking, should I bring the bike or not? Because I don't know if I leave the bike in the open, if I can still get it back. Well, for people that don't know, the bike, um, it took a while to get. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember so I you, were, you were just very happy by finally having a bike. Yeah. Um, it's not that the walking is, uh, let's say, uh, tedious or anything. It's just if you've walked uh, all those times and you have all those packages on you, it, I think this, maybe even the best thing about the bike is you can get a load up. That it can, literally carry stuff for you and it's a lot well, of great plot of course that you travel a lot faster. So you struggle less <laughs> actually. Yeah. 
The problem is, oh, yeah, I was just about to say, I think we reached the area where there is uh, these beach things. Okay, it's also so rain now. Yeah, the rain actually, this rain makes uh, things older, so it affects your your packages. Okay, so is it uh, like a, a kind of uh, acid rain that has? Yeah, rain you rain can rain. like compare it, compare it to acid rain. But it also has an effect on uh, you as a well human, right? Yeah, if it uh, hits my skin, uh, I become older. You age really quickly. Yeah. Well, I I just have to ask. I mean, this is a Kojima game. Um, the trailers that we first got, I think, over three years ago, um, were quite cryptic and <laughs> didn't make a lot of sense. It looked amazing and super yeah. cool, but exactly, it didn't really make a lot of sense. Now that you've played it a little, um, does the world make more sense to you, or are you still like just oh, just here we go. Seeing the top of the iceberg? This is the moment we see. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We've got company. So let me tell you while I'm trying to avoid these things. Um, it makes sense in a way that certain things are more in order. So you get thing like in trails, you get like sequences, and you have to patch them together. And now you get the information in like uh, a normal order. But it's still a Hideo Kojima game, so. A lot of things are like for interpretation and a lot of things are not clear yet and you don't get a guarantee that it's going to be clear. Oh, like my uh, machine here says that one is on the right as you can see so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of creepy, <laughs> especially the first time. And I haven't been um, fully attacked yet by them, like I've been attacked. And a big will came out of the ground, but I haven't been subdued by them because they tried to, uh, yeah, a whale. Yeah, a whale. <laughs> <laughs> if you play Kojima games, you know what it, <laughs> what why that the hell means. Not? Here's a whale. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I left yeah, the bike, by the way, just to be sure. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, because I mean, this terrain, it doesn't look well traversal for a bike. Um, yeah. So maybe that's the better choice. But on the other hand, if you are quicker, I, I'm not really sure, of course, how 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 easy it is for them to catch you. Um, because there's this whole mechanic with holding your breath and stuff. So it's yeah. uh, stuff we've seen in trailers. Uh, this thing is flipping out. I think one of them is coming closer. So, oh yeah, hello. Let's. Uh, Let's walk and talk. <laughs> Please, soothe uh, me with your voice. <laughs> uh, well, I think the main thing here to see is that these things are like, kind of, they're floating and they're stringed to something. They have like this almost umbilical cord thing that goes into the sky. Um, I think it can speak for a lot of people that don't really know what this game is about, maybe. And I'm just uh, following it now since it, there's a lot of uh, hype and but also controversy surrounding it. I think a lot of people might be curious where did, what does it all mean? Uh, what, what does the story all contain? And yeah, it's, it's very mysterious. And I don't know about, about you guys, but I, I really get attracted to things like this that are really mysterious and uh, yeah, have, have a good story behind it. And from the things I can see, the gameplay is uh, is not that action packed, maybe, but the story it seems like it has all those has all those things in it. The thing is that we have to like. Uh, let me add to that. The thing we have to uh, acknowledge is that like no other developer would get this kind of money to make like kind of an indie game, like indie game elements, like really original and stuff, and get yeah. this much fucking budget for it. Come on. It's like crazy. Well, I guess in that case, I mean, Hideo Kojima uh, struck an amazing deal on his part, and I think Sony has to see if it pays off. 
or not, like if it literally pays off the build. Because they just gave him like, uh, yeah, carte blanche, like this is all that you can take. Uh, buffet of money and uh, go make your game. You don't have to pitch it to us. We have full faith, uh, full trust in you. And then he comes with a game that is, um, well, as special as that branding seems to be. Uh, I think we can all. I think I'm being followed. <laughs> yeah, Holy shit. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, this is what I meant. So. Oh, no. I lost everything. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, stand up. So yeah, there's the will that I was mentioning. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> yeah, exactly, is what I meant. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is crazy. Everything is... I need my packages. Wait, wait, isn't the uh, isn't this where you uh, have those like kind of blood grenades for? I need to, yeah, but I need to see where I need to go first. Let's make a marker over here because otherwise we'll be in trouble. Here we go. Uh, yeah, grenades. You're right. These are the grenades, I think. Yeah. The things that I've seen about uh, encounters like this is if you. Uh, Ooh. Here we go. Either you can either try to fight them, like this, <laughs> or you uh, or you escape the tar area. Yeah, get the hell away. <laughs> yeah, but then they, I think these kind of mini bosses. What oh, it seems look like, at it. Oh, God, this, this is crazy. You must definitely try to go for the high ground. I think this also slows them. Oh, nice. Yeah, I hit the back. Come on! Holy shit! Okay, that almost got me. You get a really lost crafty and feel. Maybe I can kill it. Oh, I don't have enough left. Maybe I killed it. I hope I killed it. Looks like it has a little less than half health. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> not again. Yeah, so balance is also a thing here. You might think, oh, he fell really uh, in a stupid moment, but this is really hard to keep in balance. Cause I, I don't know if you can explain something about that while you're in this situation right now, but how balancing works is that... Um, if I get it correctly, otherwise you just correct me, I'm wrong. Um, you have to hold different uh, different buttons on your controller to hold yes. your balance, but you also need to watch. So you're you're using a lot more fingers in this case than you would normally do for just walking in a game. Balance is actually a thing. Yeah, let me. I don't know if this pauses the game. I hope so because I have a big ass creature behind me, like you guys saw. Um, if you go to cargo. Looks like you've got an empty container there, huh? It's Feel not interesting right like now. You can recycle stuff, so that's why she said that to me. But um, I've got all these things here, and you can put them in a certain order so that your balance becomes better. But in the game itself, you have to like press the buttons to keep yourself in balance, like the like the trigger buttons, L2 and R2, I think. Yeah, you have to press them. We're almost there, so I can talk like more freely. <laughs> Here we go. Guys, you, you don't have the, you don't have more of those blood grenades. Okay, we escaped. Oh yeah. The, by the way, besides keeping balance, <laughs> you also have to keep uh, BB happy, and BB is this baby right here. Which can sense these big ass creatures. And now I'm rocking it <laughs> to keep it happy. And this is like the kind of weird things you have to do within the Hideo Kojima game to, uh, yeah, to get to your destination, for instance. 
So for uh, for those that don't know, what does the baby? Uh, what does it do? Why do you have it on? Uh, well, on your belly. <laughs> well, the baby um, somehow these babies they use them as like products almost. Like they don't see them as babies. They see them as tools to sense these uh, beast things, like the BTs. Uh, but I do, I really don't know about the be uh, the babies yet like why are they in containers and uh, how they get how did they get there they talked about in the story before like about the still mother oh I'm almost falling being somewhere and that's the uh -huh. way they uh, they keep stable but that's all I know right now about them still something being discovered but I think even in the game right because the the character played by Guillermo del Toro. Yes. Um, I think that man. That man. Yeah. <laughs> that man. These Great names. Name. Once again, that man. Um, How original. He, uh, he he is still finding new stuff out about the babies. Yeah. Well, that's that's what you said at the beginning. I think that's one of the most interesting things in this game that, at least for us, isn't clear yet. Um, that people have problems with their memory it's like they have experienced all these things and used to know all these people but they've just forgot they have to be remembered every now and then and that's that's something very special in this game yeah. by the way guys this game is beautiful look at this <laughs> it like I mean, it has like also the <laughs> gameplay like might seem boring sometimes like if you hear it, but when you're playing it, it has like this weird way of calming you. And the soundtrack is like perfect. Yeah, I, I, uh, I even saw uh, something earlier in the game when I was watching with you um, about all these tracks that are in the game. And it's almost like you, you get Hideo's Kojima Spotify list and he just added that in his game. <laughs> and once you've walked somewhere long enough, a random song will just pop on. Uh, yeah. By Low War, we saw, for uh, example, the ones that also uh, were featured in the first trailers for Death Stranding, the songs of Low War. And they featured, one of those songs was featured in it, and we were like, oh, that's that song from the, from the second trailer or something with Matt Mickelson. Oh, this is kind of high. And um, after it plays and you, you're done with your, uh, well, with your. Uh, your walk, your delivery. It, it was like you have this song now. You can just play this whenever. Yeah. And this is the one of those moments. Look at this, like breathtaking, and like the soundtrack just fits. Okay, we need to go downstairs. So it's, uh, it's insanely clever how we how we inputted music in this game at certain moments, and um, especially since. It, it are not just moments that are um, how how do I name it? Um, they are not just moments that are um, extremely scripted. Like you uh, you are now here on this point, and now music will start. It can be very randomly at sometimes. Sometimes you're just walking, and it's not it's a side quest uh, side quest delivery shall we call it and just the song starts playing it's uh it's very well picked oh i think you're at the end of the rope yeah, yeah it's the end of the rope um by the way i just put a rope at now so if somebody else um uses the rope he can like my rope that sounds weird but likes affect your gameplay and if they if a lot of people like your stuff you become better at what you do so, uh, do you know in what kind of way you get better in what you do? I think like balance wise, but you also get like uh, like points, materials, stuff like that. I haven't really uh, delved into that yet. Oh, don't walk too fast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's still <laughs> high, you know, it's still like wind, yeah. like everything in the environment. So that's typically Kojima, everything in the environment um has an effect on you 
like not only in the cutscenes but also physically so if I'm going downwards and I have really a lot of wind behind me like I can't hold anymore even if the terrain is like slightly uh, yeah slightly downwards yeah I mean it's like you're almost getting blown off of the mountain if you go down and you're swinging it back yeah exactly I think we're reaching our destination slowly Looks like a like a big destination too. And some of these uh, in between oh, oh, posts oh, 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 you've almost connected. Fell. Almost fell. By the way, uh, for guys, if you watching this, spoilers <laughs> because we might uh, see cutscenes. Uh, I don't want to spoil you. Yeah, I think for today we'll go as far as um, finish this delivery. Yeah. Um, so people have a uh, people that are watching an idea of what a main mission looks like. Uh, I think it was pretty cool that we actually uh, we got PTs in it as well, but also the, the whale, the, what the, the squid, squid whale, hybrid. Ink yeah, that was crazy that that actually uh, uh, <laughs> happened. Yeah, that triggered, um, because I think for you as well, that was the first time you saw, you saw one of those. Yeah, and the first time I fought it actually, so I was yeah, really yes. like talking and hitting it so that's sorry if I didn't like kill it right away but <laughs> it was kind of hard to do everything at the same time <laughs> but that's also the, I think that's that's one of the beauties about this game it doesn't it doesn't revolve around um, killing stuff no or, uh, yeah. getting weapons or you're not just killing the same enemies in this game this game is really about connecting the world and connecting the world isn't always the most action-packed or interesting thing maybe to watch but it's I think it's a beautiful game concept and yeah. props to Hideo Kojima because I'm not sure who, who else could make a game like this and could, uh, well, first get this budget. At least AAA um, and wise. wise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And get this, get this budget to make a game like this with just 100% trust in him and um, he didn't have to prove anything, he didn't have to show or pitch what game he wanted to make. He was just like, I want to make a game. And Sony was like, you know what, make <laughs> Go a ahead. game. Tell yeah. us the costs. That's uh, something beautiful, actually. That doesn't happen in the age of loot boxes right now. And you have to make money enough. before you even yeah. release the game. So, yeah, props to that. I wish uh, mm -hmm. that happens a lot more. I think God of War... I also got a lot of freeway with that and see what happened to that game you know so yeah one of my favorite games ever mm, god of war yeah <laughs> uh yeah they, they they also i think they also had a lot of trust in that game and um, well they brought someone back i think he is with hideo kojima Corey balrock the director and make of the new god of war 2018 Just make clear what god of war we're talking about um he also got a lot of freedom in that. He maybe yeah. had to show some stuff about what they are, what they were willing to, to do and willing to make with it. But that game turned out amazing, and yeah. I think um, this game is a lot more niche. Yeah. Um, and more for the audience might be smaller than the audience that actually bought the game. So that doesn't make sense what I just said. Uh, uh, I'm phrased in a different way. I think a lot of people are attracted to this game because of Hideo Kojima, because of Metal Gear, and maybe half of those people might not enjoy this game. Yep. And that That's is true. a thing that 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 can happen because if they want if they want the stealth experience in Metal Gear that Metal Gear did so well, that Metal Gear invented, um, they, they 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 don't get that in this game. If they wanted an action-packed game where you shoot a lot of guns, they you don't get that in this game. This this game, I think, is for the... You get it in bursts, like really small pieces. like But not like the way it was in Metal Gear 5, for instance. Uh, or in 3, whichever Metal Gear game uh, we're talking about. But yeah. yeah, exactly. This game, let me say this to you if you're listening to this. This game is not for everyone. Even if you see like, okay, I can get into delivering stuff and this is the gameplay loop and you already know it beforehand 
you can still get annoyed <laughs> by it because <laughs> it has a lot of things uh, Hideo Kojima-esque like it's like designed this way so it's actually the way he wants it to be and it can annoy you and for other people it can be really like ah it's Hideo Kojima I get it so yeah I'm at that point right now and I get why the first hours were really hard and it's still hard but it's g it gets easier and that's the th main thing that attracts me besides the story and all of the Hideo Kojima-esque details as you can see here one of the other details like they're everywhere you know but so I can go on for hours but the first one for instance is this look at this I'm dirty I'm so dirty it and mad. it doesn't like go away dirty man <laughs> So Dirty those are fast. the small things that, like, yeah, that are really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, besides this, guys, by the way, we were talking about Death Stranding. We're also going to, are going to cover a lot of other games. Uh, I know that... Uh, I know that Daytron is really waiting on uh, Jedi The Fallen Order. Me also. But... Yeah. yeah. Oh <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I think I've never been as hyped for a game as I was for God of War, for the 2018 release. Um, but this, I did not, under, I never thought I, this would get that close, or even maybe on par. Um, that, that, that game had a horrible, well, kind of marketing launch, if I, if I say it correctly, about showing the game, it looked super linear. Um, it looked well. It looked, it looked good. It looked a nice, and it looked like a nice game to play. But it, it, it was more like, like very linear. Like you got a game that was uh, supposed to be launched in, in 2011 and, and not and not in this state. And especially the state uh -huh. EA is in with the Star Wars license. They, this has to be amazing, or Disney will not they will take the license away. <laughs> yeah, Please. they're really uh, feeling the pressure right now, but I think they're on the right track. They're from feeling what the pressure, but they, they just started with a horrible marketing campaign, and the more we've seen about this game, the more this game looks like a Souls kind of game with God of War world building and stories yeah. in it, and the gameplay elements of, of a God of War game, the... Uh, Tombs and uh, dungeon elements that has like a Tomb Raider or an Uncharted game. Uh, the, the way a Dark Souls game plays out with the world and the meditation system, enemies come back to life. It just has. It has a so lot of elements. Tension. Yeah. It has a lot of elements elements about of great games, and it's it's never bad for a game to have elements of good games. Never. Um, exactly. This can only, it looks like this can only be an amazing game. And people that played it firsthand and played three to four hours, they yeah. were so enthusiastic about it and they had such high hopes of what this game uh, um, contains and what it might bring. So, yes, I'll definitely, uh, we'll do a reverse um, that I'm playing and that uh, Semi is, uh, of course, with me. And we're, uh, we, we will discuss that game uh, in uh, about a week. Yep, and I can't wait. And I think we're gonna end on the. Well, we're gonna end on this. See if there's a cinematic. If we get a cinematic out of this, we'll uh, we'll show it. So spoilers. Here we go. That. Let's see. Let's see what happens, and let's see how strange it will get. Um. So I'm delivering this. Oh yeah, yeah of course. Down. Yeah, the menus are really annoying. <laughs> but here we go. <laughs> I don't think I will get a good rating because I fell down uh, quite a lot. Well, you dropped, you dropped it twice, right? I mean, you you didn't die and leave the crater and all that kind of thing. That's true. Oh, okay. Okay, we actually didn't really uh, had a lot of damage. That's nice. Well, you did good. Could be. Could be, could have been worse. <laughs> See what we get. Here we go. S ranking still. So I didn't uh, take that much of damage in overall. 
I think it had to do with uh, me being pretty decked out. Like, I didn't have too much kilos on top of me. Uh, I think if we had more, it would have been more damage. It looked like a lot, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, this man is just, is just walking Believe around. Believe me, it can be worse. This is really light. Grand on his back. It's, it's insane. Here we go. We have to figure out if that, if, that, if that bike of yours is still somewhere in the mountain. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't want to lose that, actually. <laughs> we have to walk back here, to get here. it. Um, See, with the likes and stuff, I think you also can carry more. Yeah. But... Let's see what happens. So you heard of Ushers into a new chiral age or some shit? Yeah. Is that cool? Hell yeah, go for it. Been waiting forever to Oh yeah, we're gonna connect. Uh okay. Another Kojima thing. This necklace. <laughs> this is the way we connect to the network. Know that there's some pre-order bonus than uh, I think you should get. And that there's even this, uh, this, what is it, the ultimate edition of Death Stranding that gives you a baby in a pod. <laughs> <laughs> but it, that necklace, I don't know. I think it's very cool. I see if this if this game gets the the, the audience it deserves. Um, I would see. I, th I think we would see, we would see stuff like that. That those necklaces are really made. Yeah. See, and now, now that we made all this way and did all the trouble, the going gets easier because we can get the help of other people online. So that's really nice. Icons have appeared. Yeah, exactly. Let's see if we can get something. Wait, where'd you get that? Uh, this, won't, uh, this won't be the... The last video we'll make about Death Stranding, the we'll, we'll have another one about it and talk about it. Yeah, I can't really say. yeah if it comes up, we'll and, talk uh, about it again. Yeah. I mean, our main goal still is we need to find Conan O'Brien. You know <laughs> and you have to yeah. teach us. How that's to like a main mission for us. <laughs> that's, that's our main mission. We we just have so to find Conan O'Brien and be part of the other gang and, <laughs> and swim through the river like an otter. I was there yes. at the end. Oh wait, this is the guy um, from before, like his family, like, okay, audience, someone uh, died and was family of this guy, so, yeah. So he told me to take it and run. Oh, one of the first things in the game. Yeah. Okay. So what's your story? Let's see what he says. You lived through a catastrophe like that, only to keep on doing the same work. Yep, ungrateful work. Might I add, <laughs> <laughs> or at least for now. You take good care of that little guy. He belongs on the expedition with you. He's talking about the baby, of course. All right. Better be take this with you too. I reckon. Can't think of anyone who could use it more. Oh, something new. What is it? Grenade? Cargo shelf? Yes, these grenades. Nice. Because I was missing them. And these grenades are connected to blood blacks. So, yeah. I think there's one part of this game that would really use improvement. And <laughs> how inventory works and the menus uh, just as a whole. It could be quite frustrating. <laughs> yes, because the button layout is not really... You have a lot of lists changes. and the button <laughs> layout is... It changes sometimes, so... Yeah. yeah. Oh! Sam, Ooh! My lady! <laughs> or we think. We don't know what she is yet. Their data, a part the mother? The lady? Oh yeah. So maybe no cinematic, but a lot of hollow, hollow talks. Yeah. Uh huh. I haven't met the terrorists yet. You guys, the golden mask. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. We saw them in the in the previous cutscenes, in the briefing, but that's it. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. So you fix it across the lake and head west. Yeah. The mission. Yeah. Make us whole again. Yeah, we're trying to get west, by the way. Uh, to connect everything, but also save this lady. But we're not really sure who this lady is. I think her name is Amelie. Uh, at first it appeared like if she was your mother or something, but now she might be your sister. It's learn if I, if I got that wrong, but that was a little confusing. That was really Kojima being a dick at that moment. <laughs> the impact that he wants to give you and that he doesn't want to give you. Yeah, let's rest up. Let me show that too before we, uh, before we end this. We can also talk about like the other things we uh, we are looking forward to. Yeah. Like we both seen Joker for the audience uh, yeah. that's, uh, that's listening. And Joker was really good. And I think everybody has seen it. So. If not, and you still have the chance. <laughs> yeah, please go. go. <laughs> Please just just go and watch it. it. Um, yeah, we have different opinions about the movie, but we we both agree that it's it's a brilliant movie, brilliantly made. Um, I personally think it's not the best portray of the Joker as the DC character, but it's it's an amazing character study of a man who is just losing it, and how accurately he is losing his shit. Yeah. And where that where that brings him, and how whew, how on point that could be for like the real world. Um, so we have a, and we know that movie has been out now for a while, but we we have the intention of also making it a discussion point about that. Then uh, of course we'll be showing off uh, Fallen Order in about a week when it comes out. If I come out of my cave ever again when I played it, and. Um, <laughs> I will lock myself up. Oh, Sam, pointing what he wants to do. Exactly. But uh, <laughs> yeah, for instance, uh, Joker. We're getting Fallen uh, uh, Order that we just talked about. Uh, I think also Mandalorian comes out. Mandalorian. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. The show comes out next Tuesday with the uh, with his first. <laughs> He's begging to brush his teeth or something. <laughs> uh, the Mandalorian comes out next Tuesday with the first episode, but the second episode, for people that might not know it, is actually coming out on Friday. He wants to shower. So, let, let him shower real quick while we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I yeah. Mean, there's never, there's never enough naked normal readers in something, so that's, that's the goal. <laughs> for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> for the man. No homo. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah. yeah. No, there, there's there's enough stuff we'll be making videos about. I mean, this is our first video, so we don't expect a lot from it. We just hope it uh, gets a chance to grow. And um, yeah, uh, we, we find an audience, how how small or how big that might become. That's just uh, that's just something we hope to do. We enjoy doing yeah. this. We have, have a, like we said, we have a big passion for games, movies, and series. So it's also stuff we want to talk about with you guys. And, um, yeah, we play a lot of um, a lot of diverse games. So we can play f Modern Warfare, that's uh, just out there also. But we can also play this, and we play uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, yeah, can, whatever uh, piques our interest at, in that time. So. Yeah, you might make a video of going back into Dark Souls and PvP. Yeah. We were horrible, horrible sons of bitches when we did that. <laughs> um, flashbacks. And Vietnam flash flashbacks. Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. Why are we still here? <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, there's enough that we still want to do. We hope uh, we are being joined by uh, by some people and uh, we'll see how it goes along the way. Yeah, well, yeah, time yeah. is showing us the door, and uh, <laughs> this is going to be it. Um, so yeah, uh, if you uh, if you enjoyed uh, this first 
Large video. Uh, <laughs> episode. Like subscribe. <laughs> episode, indeed. Like and subscribe. And join us. And um, we'll try to make the best contest we can and uh, improve and move along. So let us know what we can do better. If you don't like it, also let us know. It's just criticism. It's always welcome, of course. Exactly. And uh, yeah. Also, yeah, if uh, you want to uh, talk about certain things, you can ask us questions and we'll get back to you. So we would like uh, we would like to talk to you guys too if you want to talk to us. Yeah, let us know in the comments. And um, uh, this is for you, Raid Sh Hat. Shadow Legends. We're looking for a sponsor. <laughs> yeah, we're looking um, for a sponsor. <laughs> GPU you, as well. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. You're welcome too. We'd love to give a percentage to the the people who find that watch us. And Raid Shadow Legends is the shit right now. So um, yeah. So all uh, all jokes aside, uh, thank you for watching. If you watch this whole episode and uh, well, hanging out with us, I hope you have a rest. Uh, you have a good uh, you have a good week. And yeah. uh, and when uh, Jedi Fall Order comes, just say to everybody, let a man smash. Let <laughs> so uh, just leave me alone and let me just game. <laughs> you know, let me game. Let me rage. Let me have my own pieces. <laughs> let me smash Quiet. the buttons. <laughs> let me smash. Let me break. Exactly. Just let him on smash. Well, that's gonna be it. Yeah. Like and subscribe. We're signing out. See you guys. Until the next time. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. Bye.